Hello, everyone. Welcome to Azure Talk with me, Sachin Kalia, and with my friend Abhishek Matre. So today we are going to explore parameters and variables within ARM template. Great. So uh, in this slide, if you go here, values that are provided when development is executed to the customized resource develop, uh, deployment. So it means these are the values which are basically passed at the time of the deployment execution. Right. Whereas the variables are the values which are used within the JSON template, which is known as the ARM template to simplify the template. And uh, you can create the modularization of, uh, of the template. But there is a condition where we cannot use both the things like you cannot use the preference function or any of the list function in the parameter section. And these functions get runtime state of resources and cannot executed before deployment when parameters are resolved. So that is only the thing we need to consider in mind. And then uh, we can go ahead. Okay, so what I understood uh, generally when we take uh, some input from the end user that becomes a parameter while a value which is uh, which can be usable throughout a scope of JSON, it can be considered as a variable. That's true. So right so this is the template i have just now created for you so that uh, you will uh, get the idea of how uh, the parameters and the variables look li like we are talking today about the parameter and the variable along with one another thing which is depends on these things three things we'll cover in this template and what this template will do i'll explain it now okay so the parameters i'm declaring sku means what kind of resource it is Secondly, what kind of values I am going to use within the, uh, this template to provision the resource and why I have not kept the above given values here in this resources part. Yep. Right. First of all, let me tell you why, what is the mean of this template is the template would actually provision a web application uh, onto the Azure portal for uh, if you are aware about uh, hosting the web application on onto Azure, you would need actually two basic things. Number one, app service plan, which is the primary requirement of hosting any app, uh, web app, and secondary, the web app itself. Right? Why within the resources template, uh, resources property, I have kept two different things. Like one section is this one, which is for reserved for uh, app service plan, and second section is reserved for application itself and there is a reason why we have kept uh, this thing first and this thing second second this thing is the primary requirement that is why it is kept first so let me directly jump into line number 35 this is depends on which clearly contains one resource id and that resource id is basically of application plan application service yeah. plan right at the line number four, you see there is a parameters uh, property, which consists of one parameter called SKU. Within SKU, we have defined various other properties, which is required for defining a particular property. So SKU property has, where it, it is going to be used, I'll discuss immediately after variable. So here we declared the variable. Within the variable, I declared uh, two different properties. Uh, one is app service plan, and second is app, app name. Okay, now let me reach to the resources where exactly these two things would be consumed. In the first resource, which is meant for app service plan. Yeah. Here, in the name name property, I'm not giving any hard coded value. So though That's this value is coming from the variable, as you can, if you see, uh, variable is a predefined kind of function provided by uh, Azure itself. Hunter. So within this, in the single quote, you will pass your variable name, which is defined somewhere here in the variable section. Similarly with okay. app, app name, web app ARM would be the fixed name. And after that, it would concatenate a unique string number, which would be generated at runtime. And it will give it to, uh, to the, this variable. So yep. app name. So both the properties would be consumed here. Both the variables would be consumed here. 
Similarly, if we talk about parameters, parameters value would be consumed. We are going to consume it in the in the SKU part. So parameters is again a kind of function, right? Given by uh, Azure. So only difference is value to this property has to be passed while you are you are uh, going to provision or apply your command to provision the resource at the time of deployment. Whereas for variables you need not to be worried about this would be written in, in, inside the template and consumed uh, inside the template so user has no direct intervention with this variable values right so in order to provision this we have to first connect to the azure portal uh, i am going to connect uh, this through my uh, connect dash az this command it's given by partial Okay. Yep. Once it is given, if you are not getting connected, it it will give you this message warning message, and where there is a there is a link. Uh, once you click on this link, you have to pass. It will supposed to ask a, a code from you, and that code is given here. But absolutely the same code has to be you know uh, passed to the, that portal, and then you would be allowed to access the portal. I have successfully uh, connected so that he has given me my uh, account name and the subscription name and other information. Right. Okay. So I am into my working directory where my template is residing. Here, uh, this template is available under D Drive Learning and Azure. So let me explain this command to you very quickly. This command would be responsible to provision my resource for, and it will deploy my resource into uh, Azure portal. SKU which need to be passed at the time of uh, provisioning the template deployment of the template so currently I'm not giving anything reason being because I have already defined the default value if you see line number seven so if I am not passing anything at the time of deployment so it will by default will pick up the name s1 yeah. for SKU right so here I'm yeah, not yeah. passing it I'm just applying this command okay. let me do this it will take some time. I mean, I'm coming back once it is done. This command is successfully applied. I I got this result. Here, yeah. a resource group name is demo RG, and the provisioning state is succeeded. This tells me your uh, resource, your ARM template has successfully been applied. And here is my Azure portal. And uh, if you see, I am in. Uh, in demo rg resource group and in demo rg resource group i got app service plan dash one two three this is refresh awesome and we now have web service as well with some yeah. unique identity associated after web app arm and if you go here Kind of provision you have made uh, we have received the url here and what is the app service plan if you see web service plan is absolutely the same which have, we have passed uh, through the template and that's it uh, so there are uh, some key points uh, which i have uh, understood throughout the demonstration the first one uh, is like uh, whenever we want to provide some and end user wants to provide certain values they can utilize parameters and uh, ARM template allows you to put some default values as well. If you go down, then uh, you can create variables that can be uh, manipulated as per your need. And the scope of those variables will be the entire template. You can utilize those variables within your ARM template. Even uh, you have seen that how can we use concatenate functions and we have utilized unique string, which makes a specific string unique within Azure and keeps take care of the uniqueness whenever we provision any resource within uh, resource within Azure the last key point depends on and depends on uh, we should we should keep depends on in those scenario when one resource is dependent on to the another one so you, these are few key points you really understood correctly uh, thanks yeah. Sachin yeah so that is from, awesome. that's it from my side and if you have any yeah. questions no uh, guys uh, we have already uh, deployed uh, we have already 
provision certain uh, videos related to arm template on our channel you can reach there and get an understanding of those how can we initiate arm template so in this video demonstration abhishek has already shared you how can we utilize variables and parameters and some other inbuilt function so maybe will be helpful to you